Hey guys, AJ here from 3D Printing Systems. In today's maintenance video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the auto level servo on your Upbox 3D printer. Now the auto level servo measures any discrepancy in height between nine different points on your platform so that the nozzle distance stays equal regardless of whether your platform is unlevel. Now the auto level servo consists of a couple of different components rolled into one. Right, so we've got a micro switched attached to the end of a servo arm connected to the servo motor. We've also got two cables, one running underneath from the servo motor to give it power and then this yellow cable attached to the switch so that we can receive a signal when it does detect those nine points. Underneath it's held in by a mount connected with two screws. So the first thing we need to do is unplug the cables which run to the back of the print head mount. Make sure your printer is powered off. While it's powered off you can move the print head all the way to the front of the printer so we can access the four screws on the back of this cover. To remove the screws you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Now as with other repairs, it's easiest if you have one with a magnetic tip. That way when you're pulling any screws out, it'll be a lot easier to hold on to them and it'll be hard to lose them. Also a good idea to have a container to put any screws that do come all the way out into so you can keep track of them. So once you've got the cover off, the two plugs that we need to remove are here, the yellow cable for the sensor, and also here, this cable for the servo motor. Now it's best if you pull on the plugs, the white plug heads, rather than the cables, to prevent any damage from the cables or any cables coming loose. If you can't pull on the plugs, then try use something like a pair of pliers to grab hold of the plug heads to make it a bit easier. Now that we've got those two plugs out, we'll need to loosen them from the mount and remove the auto level servo to put our new one in. Now removing these cables from this printed mount can be a little tricky, so it helps to understand how they're held in. I've got an old y-axis mount here, and you can see this is the back mount. This is where the circuit board will normally go, and just underneath the cables go through these two L-shaped clips here. So what we need to do is shift them towards the center of the mount and raise them towards the top so that we can slide the cables out of the small gap in between. So I usually use two hands for this. One to push the cable up and the other one to pull it outwards. Got one, the other side, and we'll slip it out from behind the belt. All right, next we'll remove the servo motor. Now looking from the front of the printer, just underneath the mount we have two screws, again Phillips head type, that we need to remove to remove the mount. So we'll go ahead and remove those next. And again, magnetic tip screwdriver comes in quite handy. Make sure that you don't lose these screws. As the second one comes out, just grab the mount at the same time to prevent it from dropping away. When you install your new mount, make sure you have it sitting on the, have the servo motor sitting on the correct side. So the servo motor should be on the left side of the print head. Now I usually put one screw through the hole in the mount and then sit it behind and locate the correct screw hole. Insert one in. Again, these, these screws only need to be finger tight. You don't need to do them up too tight, but tight enough so that the mount is secure and that's to prevent any movement of the servo motor during auto level, which could give a false reading. So just making sure those are done up finger tight. That's perfect. First we'll wire in the power cable for the servo. So slip it in behind the belt that's closest to the front of the printer. It sits up there against the mount, it stays out of the way. It's going to prevent any rubbing during print while the print head is moving and could damage the cable. Next, pop it up into that L-shaped clip, clip just underneath, there we go, and then we can plug the plug just into the end of the, uh, the socket there. To install the yellow sensor cable, you'll first need to remove it from your old servo arm, or if you've been provided with a new cable, then you can install the new one. Shift the servo arm down so that you can have e easier access to plug the cable in. 
slot the cable plug into the servo arm and then tuck the cable just behind the front belt the belt closest to the front of the printer like with the other cable and then pop this behind so you can put it into the mount with a clip holder. Once you've clipped your yellow servo cable or sensor cable into the clip underneath you can plug it into the circuit board at the back. Again make sure it plugs all the way in. Then sit the yellow cable on the left side of the power cable when you're viewing it from the front. That makes sure it comes down in the center of the circuit board and when you replace your cover it won't get pinched. Lastly you can put the cover on the back of the printer. Lastly, flick your printer on at the back and as a safety check, leave the servo arm in the down position that you pushed it to to insert the sensor cable because when you power your printer on, it should flick up into place. Now that we've seen it flick up into place, we know that it's operating and we can perform an auto level. Now that your auto level is fully installed, go and perform an auto level to make sure your printer is calibrated. If your auto level device still isn't working or didn't flick up into position, then check your cable connections first, otherwise you can always get in touch with us by emailing us support at 3dprintingsystems.com. Until next time.